it's really important that, I get, that we get the safety implications in place if we're going to take the alignment we've been working on on the floor and now get onto the wall. It was in your notes and you should be expecting that we're going to be doing handstands, so you're going to need to find wall space. This is fine, but I should mention to you now, I don't know where you're going to be training. Be aware that there's things around you and you need to do your own little risk assessment around being able to train. Um, if you use a gym, you can generally use a wall space, but otherwise if you're at home, you should be able to find a place that you can get the walls dirty and get on them. Um, now before we build our alignment on the wall, you should be comfortable with falling. It's going to happen a lot, I'm not going to sugarcoat that, so you're going to need to have a technique that you can practice to work on that. I've put it in the notes there as handstand cartwheel exit. So Callie's just going to show that first and foremost. So if you just walk up into a handstand, uh, hands roughly to the board. So Callie's been practicing this and is, is very comfortable, but she's going to get to about this position here, and then she's going to fall this way into a cartwheel to be able to just land safely there. Can you show us one going the other way? Going to walk so my can is strong enough to walk in. I'm going to show you how we spot that in a second. If you're not, I'm going to come to the other way, safely able to get back. Now, can is only going in here to about this position. If we are going to use the wall to now take our alignment like we did on the floor, we're going to have to get our hands in much closer to the wall. So, this time, can is just going to show a cartwheel exit that is probably more representative of the position where you'll be where you'll feel like you might need to fall. So you're going to need to practice getting out of it. So Callie's going to now walk herself in. And she's going to get to about there. We're going to build that same shape in a second. But from there, Callie might over lean. And then she's going to go one way, safely down. Okay? Cartwheel exit. Now, if we've never been on a wall before, just walking up like Callie did there, may seem daunting and it may seem way outside our envelope of function, which is also a term you should be familiar with from the other notes. Our capacity, our strength, it takes a lot of strength to be able to get up there. So if you're doing this on your own, show someone this video because I'm going to teach you how to spot. Put your hands on the floor for me please, Callie. In this position here and one leg up onto the wall if you can. Now we're, no, no, back down, just one leg. From this position, where most of us are going to fail is going to be at the shoulder. So I'm going to spot, I'm going to spot Callie at the shoulder here. I'm going to make sure I don't tread on her hands because that would be very easy as well. From this position, I'm going to be talking to Callie. I'm going to take the weight and Callie's now going to take the second leg up onto the wall. From that position, Callie can give me feedback. How do you feel safe? Yes. I'm giving, taking quite a lot of weight here. I can also place my shoulder into her bum. Okay, so from this position, if Callie feels good, we can walk into the wall. So I'm giving weight and supporting at the shoulder to be able to come all the way in. Callie giving me feedback all the time. Thank you. So now we're in the top. Now we're into the position on the wall where we can start thinking about alignment. I'm not gonna let Callie go unless she tells me. You okay. good? Yep, good. So now I can come away and Callie can train her alignment. To get her down, if she can cartwheel exit, we do that. Or I come back in and Callie's going to walk back down the wall. My shoulder is supporting her at the bum. And she can pop her feet down safely out of a wall walk. Now, in the core training, I've put in some very difficult wall walks. Um, check out those videos, there's, re there's regressions on those, but they are very difficult. And if you have a training partner, then you can have a spot in and out. But if you're not, if you can't cartwheel out and you haven't got a training partner, you're not safe enough on the wall, I'm suggesting that you don't train this until we get stronger through some of the other drills in the handstand training.